Hello. So, today it's, do I even have level? Level? Does it even show level? I, I, I don't know. This camera doesn't show level. Level, level. Okay, whatever. Today is serious unboxing day, and what I'm about to show you, I'm super excited about, because you are every single video, every single video that I'm filming from now on, seeing as in you know it's there, but you don't see it, because it's going to carry my cameras. It might also carry my microphones, but primarily I want to use it for cameras. The thing is, it's so modular, it could do anything. It could carry your mother, for fuck's sake, or well, probably not. Unless there's a mother adapter, they should work on that. Try it or make a mama adapter. Anyway, um, Triad Orbit freaking stands. Mario van Helden left me one here last Friday and I've been showing it like a little kid to every single person <laughs> stopping by. I'm like, look at this stand, it's so awesome. Um, well, let me show you. Where is it? Right there. See, you can... Where, where is it? It's, it, it? I can actually, uh, it's right there, right? You can barely see it. Barely like a rawr bear. No. Um, it's right there. It is such an amazing product. These stands, let me, let me show you the concept. So the Triad Orbit stands all come with this coupling already attached. Okay? And you can pull this down and kind of, you know, masturbate the little coupling. And then you can plug in. So this is, let me show you. So let's go for the most simple thing that you can do. You have a standard mic stand right here. One of my favorites, up until now, from Hercules. This is Hercules! Hercules! Her These are nice, I'm going to pull this up. And here we have the mic stand. They have kind of this quick release system, you can put this on the mic and just clip it on. It's neat, but it's not as solid as you might want it. So, what you do is, you buy this, which let me figure it out what that is. It's the IOR. The packaging alone is so solid that it's just... Look how that comes. Isn't that ridiculously cool? Comes with a small one as well, like a little reduction thingy. Before we get to that. So, what you can do is... I'm going to take my Sennheiser clip. Right here, the mic clip. I'll attach it to this hex, we're going to call it very solid hex nibble and now I'm going to attach my triad orbit thing to my mic stand and from now on it's super simple to clip on my mic I simply go BAM I want to take the mic off you pull this down and there's no maybe it's in maybe it's not in it's either not in or it's in and when it's in, it's in. There's no getting it off. Unless you get it off once you do this. So if you do this, you know, you can get it off. Yeah, I know. I know you don't like the sexual stuff, but that's how I roll. So, freaking awesome, you get it off. Um, that's the most simple way to do it. Now, if you want, you know, what can I do with this? Can tilt it up and down, way to go. Um... You can retrofit any mic stand with the Triad Orbit IOR, okay? But I could also go and... Oh, I think this is the Micro 2 M2R, okay? Um, which is simply, it has a normal thread at the bottom. You could put this onto any mic stand if you wanted to. So I could actually just put this onto this normal mic stand without any other attachments and it's going to give you a swivel head but I'm going to actually attach it to the IOR attach it to my mic and 
Normal mic stand. Bam. And now I can do this. I can position that mic any freaking way I want it in the most solid way that you can possibly imagine. Okay. Oh, if you actually screw it all in. So. And then you loosen it. Perfectly maneuverable. And the, nothing moves there. Okay, that is way cool. So now I want to get that mic off. Done. How freaking cool is that? But the cool thing is, instead of having a mic on there, Why not attach this? Very firm. And that attaches to this. And all of a sudden your mic stand becomes the camera stand. Okay. Bam, boom it out. Swivel, tilt. Ow! And I have a nice camera stand. Again, with a third party brand if I wanted to. So, what if I want to now switch out cameras? Well, that's easy. Switched out cameras. Bam, film my pedal board right there. Well, it's at an angle. Hmm, how do I get it right over the pedal board? We'll get to that. So this is kind of neat. The system is kind of very cool. But, maybe there's more. Maybe. So let's see what else we have. We have a lot of stuff to cover. This is going to be a long ass video. We have the IOH4 brass hex mounting and the lighting stud. Let's see what the IOH4 is. The IOH4 is... Neat. Okay, I'm gonna throw away the IOH4 package. I'm using my second camera, which is not the same quality as my first, because I want to show you how the big-ass camera handles. So here, you take the hex out, and now you simply have a way of attaching a camera directly to any of these stands. So no swivel, it's just instead of a mic, instead of the mic attachment, it does this screw off. No. No, this doesn't come off. This is then only for the camera. So we have a camera adapter. But in the same way, you have the IOH5. This is after all unboxing and throwing away boxes. Whoa, this feels freaking heavy and solid. Holy freaking shit, this is quality. I wish you could hold this and feel it. So, what is this? Now, depending on the light, this works. Ah, here we go. Here we go. So, I got my light right here. Okay? On a mic stand. No lighting stand required. The lighting stands are usually kind of iffy. So I got my mic stand here. I, oh, well, and if I didn't hit the light up there, the lamp up there, I could actually. You know, now I can boom out my mic, uh, my light, position it anywhere I want it, and there's my light. Well, ah, oh, damn it! No, I needed a camera here. Wait a second. Wait, wait, that doesn't, I need the, I need the light back here. Hey, can you get me the light? Yes, I can get you the light. La, 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 la. And light back on. Now these stands are kind of iffy and flimsy because this is a Hercules stand. If you had the Triad Orbit stand, not even an elephant could push this over. Well, maybe an elephant. So this is kind of neat. The question is, can I actually 
swivel this. This is kind of, has a little bit of a fulcrum, I think that's the word. Well, let's figure this out. Here we have another Micro 2 M2. I'm gonna open this. Let's, let's show how this is actually in the box. Little sticker, little thingy. Comes with a camera, the reduction thingy. Okay. So, and the, the big one. So, I want to get the light. Can I get the... No. I'm getting really confused here. Well, let's move on to... If I put this back in here, because it's so nice. Let's move on to the actual stand. And to avoid just this crap, you need to try it all bit. You put these on every mic stand you have, and then you don't have to get rudimentary Stone Age tools to change microphones. I have used a little camera on this, uh, whatever that is. K and M, but down here, it's all swivelly. Once I have a mic on this, I have to tighten this like hell, and then the mic still kind of with time, it goes down. I can use this now with my attachment as a little camera stand that's close to the floor. Way cool for pedalboard demos. And I just click it in, and this is my helper. Obviously. Check this out. Hello, what is? Obviously, I could just go and make it a light stand. Crap, you have a light stand, you have a camera stand, you have a mic stand. You have whatever you want it to be. The really cool thing are the actual stands. This is, I think, I think it's called the T1. Does it say that anywhere? Holy shit, this is neat down here. It is extremely heavy. It is very heavy. That's good. Let me get the camera down a bit more. It is what you want. You want it to be heavy. You don't want it to swivel, whatever. So these are, uh, there's these rubber things that are very grippy. The stand can be this short if you want it to be. Oh my god, is it heavy. But, here's the great thing. Super flat, you can even get extra weights if you need them. But, I can go ahead and very easily angle this. You want to see it again? I can angle it. I can angle it like this. You can angle this behind an amp and have the mic come up in front. You can lean an amp against it. Okay, if you wanted to, I've seen pictures like that. I'm not going to replicate that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to replicate that. Right here. Lean an amp against it. So if, somehow. There you go. Ah. ah, okay, so there you go. Mic the amp. Then again, you don't want this in your face because that sounds like ass. Use a deflex. Freaking use a deflex much better than angling the amp up in your face. So, oh, but, here's a cool thing. You don't even have to bend down. Just do this. Okay? Or do this. And now, get a second stand under it. So you can have stands very close to each other because this one can be angled in any way. And I just peeked underneath for the first time and saw the seriousness of this construction. Look at this. That's some serious shit right there. So this is the T1. Let's make it really flat. It has, of course, on top a hex 
release already. So I could just go release my light, plug it in, lift it up, there's my light. But obviously you want a little bit more flexibility. Ah, I'm breaking my light here. So in this case, the OM Mini, the orbital boom, and that is this. Look at this, this is a very serious ball, a ball, big. and here, oh, this neat. Does it actually, oh, that is cool. See here, there's like these tiny pins. There's two tiny pins. And in here, are holes around so that this thing cannot turn. So once I clip this in, you should feel these. It's ridiculous. So once I clip this in, this, uh, it, it can't turn anyway because it's a hex. But still, it uh, probably takes the strain a little off. So I fasten this, and now I have this very, very solid boom that I can really do anything with. Okay, so I tighten this. We've had my heaviest mic on this, fully to the side, doesn't do anything, just it stays there. So you tighten this, you extend it, and let's see. I'm gonna go now, grab an M2. The micro M2. Okay. Comes with a camera and a small thingy. The big one's already attached to it. So you can have these adapters on there. So I'm going to attach the M2 to my mic. Bam. Get this down so you can see it. Actually, I'm gonna get the camera back in a different angle. Let's see. I'll just clip this in. My mic is clipped in. Well, let's position it right here in front of this amp instead of the stupid mic clamp. Now, look at this, I have full control in terms of the angle. So I like it right here, I tighten this, I was turning it the wrong way, I'm an idiot. So, tighten this, I tighten my beautiful, so that, ah, here we go. Gotta learn how these work. So now see how long it's going over here. There is nothing swiveling, whatever. I can move it in a perfect position. Can you actually see this? Yes, I can actually move this into a perfect position very, very easily, if you actually know which direction you're turning. See? So, the same boom. I'm going to very quickly turn into a camera boom. Done. Hmm? How cool is this? I've used this all week. Pedal board down there. Bam. I'm not afraid that this falls over because you know what? It wouldn't. That's a very expensive camera. It wouldn't fall over. I could even if I wanted to angle these two feet a little bit, even more, and now there's really no way it can fall over. So, as you can clearly see, these stands are super flexible. I could put a mic on here, I could put a different camera on there now already. What, are you going to do that? Done. Now, I'm excited about this. Do you think we're done with uh, Triad Orbit? Oh, hell fuck no. Let's look at other stuff. 
here we have another stand, which is even smaller. They make the really big ones too. Now the packaging is just insane. I'm gonna angle the camera. I'm angling the camera all with my old tripod because I wanted to show you the new ones. The old ones are all going away because I don't want them. Super nice packaging here. Adjustment screws in it. Very nice. Put them all in here. This is nice packaging. So what we have here is the same concept, just smaller. Shorter legs, you click it. Now this, I could even put on my desk. I could shove under this one and have it really close, okay? So the options are there. This is all the way up. Okay. Now we have a second room for this. So let's check it out. So we have another one of these. The Orbit OM. I think it's the Orbital Mini because they also make one for full size stands. Whoa, what's it? Ah, ha Almost lost this, almost forgot about it. Of course it comes with a mic attachment and a reduction thingy. Is there more in here? Let me let me check. No. It doesn't come with a camera attachment. That those are only on the um on the swivel things, which makes sense. Because you want your camera to swivel. Ah come on, so Good, so we're gonna look at this now. My god, their pack packaging is awesome. So here we go. Here is the second boom. I'll take this off. Oops. Take this off. Put this on here. Let's adjust it. So, there. And this is also heavy enough. I could angle these now if I wanted to, as a counterweight if I wanted to, but this is absolutely heavy enough to not give me any problems. Tighten these and it can't turn. So. Why can it turn? Uh, apparently you can't tighten it enough. Well, that's... I have a fork in here. I have a lever. A lever? A lever? They just talked about that on Big Bang. So there you go. And of course, if I want it again... I would trust to put my big camera on this thing without a problem. Since it's not gonna tilt in any way gonna get a little camera on here or of course if I wanted to come on. ouch put my mic on here adjust it in any way that I want so this is a very very flexible system I could put the light on here Let's try this and see if the light actually will push this thing over I don't know, I haven't tried with the light. Uh, no it doesn't. Look at this. So this is pretty, pretty impressive, okay? This is pretty cool. This little stand holding my light. And I could use that stand in any situation and just put something else on it. I can put a mic on it, I can put so many different things on it. But, let's see what else. So what's this? Let's see what's in the little box. We have the IOA-1, advanced uh, coupler telescopic arm. Comes in a dildo box. 
Very nice, super tight thing. Can I even get this out of here? Ah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to whack it. Nice. <laughs> this is packaging on the highest order. Um, so comes with the hex, and again, coupling with everything that you need on the other side. So I could technically just extend this, if I wanted to. This is the short extension, there's also a long one. Hey, let's, let's test it. going a little bit. Yeah, well, we're very likely not going to move. And I, I got to go back there. If you have the wrong angle. I have the tiniest stand here. The tiniest stand, and it's still very solid. So if I wanted it higher, all I do is just angle up this ball, and I have it pretty much at the height of my head with the smallest stand they have. And I can just make it shorter again. I think you get the picture. So this is an extension arm and they make them in two different lengths. Very, very cool. Well, let's go nuts and look at this. This is the OA orbit arm, which has its own ball bearing on this side. So we're going to go ball bearing crazy and we're going to do it all with the Mini, because it's super impressive how the Mini can handle all this weight. While the bigger one even now seems too big. <laughs> Why do it for the huge stand if you can just have this little tiny thing in the corner of your... Ah, I didn't. Ah, it can even be higher. I'm an idiot. I never got that out. So, let's open this. This system is so flexible, it's ridiculous. Holy shit. So here you have a serious size ball swivel thing, which actually has a coupler on top. So you have this big thing. And you can actually plug arms in here. You can plug... If I want super mega flexibility, I plug my camera in here, and then I have, okay, this is really tight, and then I can swivel this any way I want, and swivel the little one any way I want, so that's quadruple swivel action, or quintuple or something, I don't know. So we're going to see, and again, all of them come of course with the thing that the mic attaches to which is now we don't need because we have some examples here this is seriously the best shit i've ever seen screw the guitars that came i mean i love them they're nice just play the angelicos they're beautiful guitars but this is making me this is going to change my life as a video videographer and audio engineer it really does so let's see I'm going to put the extender into this. I could also put the extender down here. So I could actually extend the tiny boom with the long extender. Ah, I couldn't do... Wait. No, I can't do that. Because it's missing the holes on here. So that, that way it doesn't work. So i got to do this because this is how it's meant to be. And again. Ah, no, I can't do that. Because it's missing the hole. So it needs the holes on both sides. So the orbital boom is supposed to replace 
This boom. I understand. Ah, okay. So the orbital boom is replacing this one, and that means I can actually go into every direction. I get it. So this is to go onto the actual stand. Let's see how long it goes out, okay. So there's no counterweight on this one. Not sure it's gonna hold the camera. I understand. Yeah, see that? It wouldn't, I mean, hey, you can't expect this to work, okay? On the big one, it probably will. But not on the little one. But I can do this. Because it's definitely stable enough. I understand, okay. So, that big thing is always going on the sand. This is cool. Yeah. So I couldn't put this on top of here. Uh, at some point, the flexibility has to be. Um, so, I can just, as you see, easily exchange these. We have two more of the bore bearings here, which is important. Let's go to probably the most coolest thing that they do. Do you see a lot of high-end engineers with that thing? This is like Christmas for a videographer. For someone who does YouTube videos in fights with stands and camera positions all day, I want to show you some before and after images at the end of this video, how I used to do things and how I'm going to do them now. So here we have the Orbit 2X. Uh, that's the wrong side. I don't know what the right side is. No, that is the right side. Orbit 2X O2X. Comes with two long arms, two short arms, all with the quick couplers and extendable, but it is a Y coupling to put two items I'm going to say items and not, not microphones, on the same stand. Oh, all right. And we're going to go with the bigger one and not the small one, simply because I'm going to put some shit on here. Okay. Ah, okay, I see what's going to happen. Caution to avoid damaging the stainless ball, loosen the tension knob before adjusting the boom position. Well, obviously. Ugh. Ah, so two arms are already attached. It comes with four mic clamps. I'm gonna have to figure out the difference because there's two in the gold without the thing in the middle and two in silver with a little notch in the middle, so I don't quite know why. So here it is. This is the thing I've been waiting for and really been looking forward to. You have a big thing that can swivel like this. My big thing can swivel like this. But there's these two uh, pins again, so that means I cannot put this on any of the boom extensions, it would also be too heavy. It is very heavy. So I can put it on the stand directly, but then I have these fully adjustable ball swivel things, which I can, of course, make shorter. I'm going to start with the short ones. Ah, and these have holes again. Oh my god, that, oh my god, the option. Let's go option crazy. So what I'm going to have to do is... Oh crap. So, I'm going to take this off. And get this up as high as I can. Let me see. Oh, this has holes. Okay. So I'm going to make this higher here with this extender. With the short one. Do I have a long one? Just for fun. Oh my god, the pos- Yes, that is awesome! The possibilities! So, I'm gonna just go and... Now I'm gonna use the short one. So, I'm gonna put the O2X on here. Bam! That's pretty freaking solid. So now I could go... 
plug in a camera and I can film from right here, okay? I could also tilt this. Well, if I, you know, really screw this in and then I could tilt this and have something somewhere. I mean, I'm going to do it parallel for now. And I want a light. Can I put I prepared something here? So let's see in here. I could plug this in. That's the old to have OA. Because it has a little nibble. Oh my god, this is still solid. This is weird. It's weird how solid it is. So I'm gonna. It's a bit stupid to do it this way because all I'm gaining now is a little bit of height, but who cares? I can't believe that this is still working! And here's this. Ah! It's one of my LED lights, which has a little attachment for... Okay, I have it now on a swivel ball. That is probably pushing the system. But you know what? It's pushing the system a lot. Because this is a heavy battery that I've got on here, but... This is ridiculous! This is still working! Now I want my camera to be further out. I'm going to put my foot on here just in case. Okay? So all I have to do now is pull this out, stick my camera in here, Okay, swivel it up, so I could light something over there from this side, but still film it down here. With a tiny stand, okay, I am beyond impressed right now. Can you freaking see this? I'm going to try to get the light down. This is a contraption from hell. And this is not going to fall, there's nothing... I mean, we have the T1, I think it's the T1 stand, an extender, an uh, O2X uh, oh my god! The possibilities are endless. Two microphones, two cameras. I could literally now do two camera shoots and not have this huge undertaking where I have little sacks where the cameras sit on to angle them. I could get exactly the shots I want. Guys, I know you want to see guitar gear and you're not excited about this, but me, for someone showing you guitar gear, this is the fucking holy grail! But you haven't seen it all! There's one more thing! Sadly, only one day, so I forgot to send both of them, but the other one is on the way. Okay, this is the freaking coolest thing I have ever seen. And you know what? And you close it, I'm gonna just take it apart. Bang, my light is already on here, it's gonna stay on the ball. I'm gonna take this apart, I'm gonna take the camera off. Bang, camera is off. This is how fast you take this stuff apart. Bam! All the options right here. Here's my swivel ball. Gonna take this off, gonna put the extender back on just for shits and giggles. Gonna take the O2X off. Any kind of option you want with the O2X, you can 
mic pianos with two mics in one of these little stands. Uh, fully go onto the... Look at the, the, the website. A, a light and a camera, two cameras, two lights. Uh, you could possibly do two dildo flapping <laughs> for reasons that I don't understand, but if you want that, you can do it. Again, if they're working on the MAM adapter, have two MAMs sitting on it. Um, but here's the coolest thing. For me, my desk is the thing that you usually see me sitting in front of. So you see the studio actually from this side being filmed this way. Okay? So, and I always, I'm going to show you, uh, wait. I'll show you. I'm just going to show you. You spend this much time with me here now. You might not mind. I'm going to show you how I usually set up my camera. So you probably know the gorilla pod, right? Something like this. So with my new big camera, I have because I have to film from over there, from where the screen is, which is difficult to get far enough back. So I take the gorilla pod and move it as far away as possible as it can possibly be and still show you me and the guitar. So, some kind of in front of the screen, half on the keyboard. Now this is kind of the angle. So it's half on the keyboard, half in front of the screen. Not the best position. It would kind of have to be a little bit higher and coming from there. Sometimes when I film, I have it on a cardboard box. I was going to show this differently, but I'm going to do it this, this way. So this is the camera, and then the mic that you hear me with is usually this. And that is standing right here, right off camera. It's difficult to work the computer because the desk is getting kind of full. So that is one thing when you see me do these videos. The other is when you see this angle with the amps in the, in the back. Here, I have the camera on this black pod, which is kind of neat and extremely expensive. Sitting here, like this, kind of ghetto style, and I'm trying to adjust the angle by moving the kind of rice or whatever thing here around so I have a decent angle. Well, I'm going to show you how I've done it last week. He won't stand on the floor. All the way up. Orbital Blue Mini, I think that's what it's called. Going at a nice angle over there. All the way out. Stand maybe a little bit up. So I get some more height. Yep. Camera in. Perfect angle, not on the table, so that when I'm hitting the table or doing anything on the table, I hear like clock clock or, or the camera's moving. It's just sitting there. It's completely freaking solid. So this is what I've done uh, last week. It's going to be even easier now. Because we have the following product. The IOW, the wall plate, which again also comes with a mic attachment and a reduction piece. They all come with those. But what it is, is this. It's a table stand. So, and it's got rubber on the, on the, bottom so you could just go and plop that if you wanted to. Where's my camera? Here. If you wanted to, it's just a table stand. Okay? 
okay? Which is neat by itself. Super neat. Since it has the holes in it, you could go and take one of the arms and put it in. Then of course you don't necessarily want to trust it anymore because obviously this isn't going to work. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to attach it to the wall. So, bear with me. Right. Done. Well, you can't see it, but it's right there. So from now on, what I can do is just do this. And I'm done. You see? Oh, with that camera, it's a little bit close to the wall. No, the angle is absolutely freaking perfect. I can't really tilt it all the way back, but no, the angle is absolutely perfect. So we're gonna go a little bit further and Okay. <laughs> if I wanted to take the big ass arm That is cool. Holy shit crap. Look at this. I could just film myself from above. I could have a pedal here and film it. I could do, could do freaking anything. So, let's say, let's see what else we can do. And again, this thing is stuck. I'm trying to find out how I can actually put the small arm on there. Because right now, the speaker would be in the way. I mean, this is a very unique situation right here, where I kind of have to come around the corner. Actually, I might not. Wait a second. No, I do not have to come around the corner. It goes right past the speaker. And there's another angle I can do. Freaking awesome! Just gonna find out if I... So I have the normal attachment that attaches to a normal mic stand on a little ball bearing. Hoping that the little ball bearing will hold, but I'm thinking it will. Now put the little arm on here. Nah, this might not be tight enough. No. No, that can't... that does not work. Oh, damn. Well, obviously, if I wanted that angle and that far out, I use the other one. Which we're gonna use for the mic now. Now, I could go ahead and try to fiddle that little thing out of there. But I could also just take one of their little things and attach it. Attach it to this thing. Kind of doubled gemobbled, as we say in German. Double gemobbled. I don't know if there's anything. So I could just go in with a big one, but we'll do this. Okay, so we got my mic on a swivelly thing. Um. And obviously imagine it on the other side, because my camera would come from there, my mic would come from there. Obviously I have both options available to me any time. So this is the more solid one that will hold. I think I want to go over there. Um, so I always want that mic to be as close to my face as possible, so you hear me not like the room mic we're using now. Okay. 
but off camera. Well, see, I got the table free, but that mic is right in my face. Okay, I'm talking blah, 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 blah. It's coming off the wall. And when I'm done, here's what I do. Put the mic away. Make the boom short. Bam! They obviously have the very tall stands, but what you've just seen is a glimpse into the possibilities you have for Triad Orbit. I have for a long time not been so excited. I know it's not a guitar pedal and I'm excited about pedals and guitars. Uh, I'm very excited about the Dangelicos that are hanging on the wall there. They're beautiful guitars. I'm excited about the Barooming guitars that are coming from Texas, but this is something I use on a daily basis. Positioning three, four cameras for you guys is essential to make these videos good. Or hopefully great. Triad Orbit now enables me to mic things, light things, and videograph things in the easiest, most perfect angle possible. And I cannot stress enough how great these are. They're not cheap. They're definitely some of the most expensive mic stands I have seen. But they're worth every freaking cent and then some. Any other questions you have about these, let me know. What I don't know, I will ask Mario. Mario! And he will uh, let me know what he doesn't know, which is very little, will get from Triad Orbit themselves. This is freaking black gold. Sorry this took so long, but I'm very excited about it, and you should be too. If you're doing anything with video, audio, lighting, or any combination of these 17 things, you know, flapping dildos on stand, whatever, then you should check out Triad Orbit. Just feeling them, everything feels heavy and solid and... Good night.